Welcome to Caveman Bricks Builds and More. I am the crate, oh, I don't know who I am. I am the caveman and this is my assistant dragon J Boy Gaming, my assistant partner person here. Um, now you'll have to excuse Judah. He does have a small bit of a cold. So if he does cough a little bit, no, he doesn't have COVID. Just really bad allergies that have turned into a little bit of a cold. Something that we've actually passed through our family a little bit uh, in the last couple of weeks. Part of the reason why we've been on a little bit of a hiatus. But we are really looking forward to continuing to build. I, our... I can still taste things, so that's how you know I don't have COVID. <laughs> uh, and we haven't been exposed to anyone. So, But we are going to continue building our uh, Diagon Alley set. Um, we are on bag 17 of 20, so really we're pretty close to being done with this. I'm excited to finish it. Um, the first three buildings were all amazing. I'm really excited to finish this last building, which contains Weezy, Weasley's Wizarding Wheezes. Um, and then who knows what our next big project will be, Not but it now. is now after June 1st. So brand new sets have been released. We actually got our first shipment the other day of some of those new sets. So we also have Hedwig to finish and a few other things. So keep watching us, keep tuning in. Thank you to everyone that's been liking and commenting. We really love all of that. Please share us with your friends. Uh, give us a thumbs up on all of our videos. Uh, watch all the way to the end as we have a lot of fun, right? Mm -hmm. All right, here's where we are so far. We didn't pull down the whole big building um, just simply because it's a lot every time. Um, so, uh, when we finish, we'll get it all pulled down and we'll make one final uh, kind of review video where we show everything. But this is where we have got so far on this building. Uh, we've got part of Nocturne Alley and part of the downstairs. Uh, we don't have a big window here yet. Um, the window feature here is a little, I don't know, it looks almost incomplete. I think that there are more windows that are going to go in here because there's places for them. Um, and then, you know, we still have the whole second floor and the roof and the guy with the hat and all of that stuff to do still. So let's go ahead and open this up. I have a bookmark. There it is. Okay. Today we are going to build either Fred or George. I'm not sure which. Because it's almost impossible to tell. Yeah. Um, we do need those two, uh, grayish i don't know what color you call that grayish brownish base plates those are our stickers all right buddy lots of purples and oranges and a few maroons Those are some interesting pieces. I wonder what those are for. I do have one question. What's that? How do you walk in any of these stores? There's a door. I know, but like inside, like look at this. How do you even get on the stairs? You think skinny thoughts. Literally, that's... Are you making a night plus pun right now because I don't understand? No, I'm making a dad joke. All right. Da, 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 da. There's a head. There's a hair. There's a torso. And there are the legs. There you go. No wands. He does have a W on his tie, it looks like. That's kind of cool. Weasley. I wish there were, it was like two of them so it could show oh, which one it was, Fred or George. Yes, I do wish that they would kind of label it. <gasps> Whoa! Is there a clue on him somewhere? Because right now this guy's kind of driving me crazy. Okay. Which one are you? Let's call that one Fred. How do you know? I don't. I'm Is just calling that. Is he an ear? 
<laughs> Can Lego figures be missing an ear? Do they have I, ears? I, I don't know, but in like the final, final like movie, I don't know, remember if it was Fred or George, but one of them, they had the polyjuice potion to make them look like Harry so that the uh, Death Eaters wouldn't know it was Harry. Yeah, and what w wasn't. Right. And George lost his ear. Yes. Yeah. So, it would be really cool to add, like... George lost his ear, Fred lost his life. In the movie? Yeah. I thought they both lived through it. No. Fortunately not. I'm so confused because I saw both of them. Uh, they live through the scene that you're talking about, um, but not the Battle of Hogwarts. Oh, okay. I bet after the Battle of Hogwarts, literally everybody is going to see the... Th the anim the death horses that you can only see if you've seen a death. Yeah. For sure on that. I bet everyone can see them after the Battle of Hogwarts. Yeah, I would agree with that. I think that that's pretty common lore. Do you even know what lore is? Mm-hmm. What is it? Um... Kind of like story. It's the de deeper origins of things with unknown past. Yeah. Okay. Like the Vindicators, which are an evil mob that has magic and tries to destroy you inside of ma Minecraft. Vindicate means 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 innocent or mm. just not not evil. Yet they try to attack you. Mm. Now, Judah, did you know that? Your dad has now been on a TV show. No. Not the cool show that maybe some of you guys are expecting, like Lego Masters. But if you have found us because you saw me on a TV show, welcome. Thank you for watching. What? I'm confused. What are you confused about? What show? Um, it was a show about my friend... Oh, yeah, I remember that. That was a long time ago. I did that interview, yeah, but the show just aired. So. Peeling back a little bit of the Hollywood mystery. Okay. All right. Okay, okay. Oh, what makes pieces. your friend so famous? He did something bad. Oh. He did something very bad. All right, Judah, we got to put together some windows. So, see this? We have to do it twice, so I'll do one and you do one. Okay? Okay. Right now, if I talk in a whisper, I kind of sound like, like, um, Voldemort when he's in, uh, when he's in, like, a humanoid ball alien thing. Humanoid ball you, alien thing. You know when he's, like, what, like, the form, um, we saw mo what he looked like multiple times whenever he mm -hmm. he uh K 
Keep building, bud. Build and think. Build I and think. You know the incomplete form, his Horcrux form? Uh-huh. That we saw in, like, Triwizard? Yeah. Or that was, like, turned into normal form? Yeah. And got dumped in the pot of soup like that? Yeah. i rather sound... Or the one below the train... The white, uh, train... Uh... King's Crossing. Mm, yeah. You know uh, where Harry had his final words with Voldemort? Yeah. I mean, with Dumbledore? Uh huh. What are you looking for? I'm looking for this. Uh, it's so. right here. Oh, yeah, something on top? Yep. What is it? Um, one of these right here. So I'd rather sound like him in his Horcrux form when I whisper, or Dying Dark Vader? Okay. Like that last scene inside of Star Wars where he had his helmet off and he was like a little like rashy with his voice and like... Raspy. Raspy. And like... I'd rather sound like that or both of them. Mm. <laughs> this cough is very annoying. I have to take like a hundred cough drops a day just not to to get that bad of a headache from coughing so mm -hmm. much. Yeah. Now, did you know that a little bit ago I cut my thumb trying to get some Lego pieces into place? What? Yeah. Look at. See a little cut. Oh. How did you cut your thumb getting Lego pieces into place? Uh, the thing slipped when I was putting on a piece and cut me a little bit. All right, this time we have to do three like this. So can you do one? Oh, okay. Um, what do I do for the top? Two by one and then a two by one tall with the two piece thing on the front. Like this? This and this? Yep. Which one's on the bottom? The two by one. The flat. Here you go. Thank you. Whoa. Careful. Thank you. All right. And this is going to go into our missing window spaces that we actually talked about at the beginning of the video. I see with my little eye, I spy with my little eye a face face huh yes but it's not this guy's actual face mm. don't you know what it is what if you turn it this way oh okay well, I don't know. all right judah do you see this right here can you do one of these for me Those windows look a lot better now that there's windows in between them. They were looking pretty weird. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five.
Uh, I can't find one of these. Do you see a fifth one? Oh, there it is. All right. Good job finding that. Did you hear me? What? You all right over there? Yeah, just zoned out. Apparently. I don't know why. Okay. Five of these. Look, we're already getting low on pieces. Judah's favorite phrase. When this cough goes away and I can reach my full potential. You will be destroyed in two seconds. Okay. Goodness gracious, we're doing things in fives right now. Well, it's starting to look like the store, huh? Mm, I guess. I don't know what the store really looks like, though. Like, it may look like somewhat like the picture, but it may have some details that are completely different. Yeah. Well, picture. other than J.K. Rowling, does anyone know what the store really looks like? Since she and made it up. And the Lego company. Well, but she made it up in her head. So she can tell other people, but she's the only one that can really see it. Right? Well, we can really see it when it's finished. Okay. Oh my goodness. One, two, three, four, five, six stickers. D15 and D16, D17 and D18, D19 and D20. D20. They're going to go on these. So they're going to make, we've seen this in some of the past parts of this, but they're going to go together like this make like a little sign thing. Fifteen. We'll see fifteen. Oh, here it is. Okay. Judah, after I get the stickers on, will you put them on the building for me? So here's the first two, and they're going to go right here. Right here? Uh-huh. Weasley? A wizard? Weezes. Wait, no, this one's going to say wizard? Well, it starts it over there. Weasley? And, yeah, and then this one's going to say wizard. Uh-huh. And then this one's going to say wheezes. Mm -hmm. Weasley's wizard wheezes. That's my guess. Yeah, that's what it says. How do you know? It's just a guess. <laughs> it's on the stickers. I can see them. Okay, there are the next two. I'm gonna go right there. Wait, do you have to be a certain age to be on a, a Lego Masters? Um, I think you have to be 18 here in the States. Oh, it finishes the wizard. Oh. Now in Britain, on theirs, they have lots of kids on it. Uh, in the second season, they had a team of 10-year-olds. Well, I'm 11, so I guess. Goodbye. I'm going to Lego Masters in 10 months. Or. You're going to move to Britain and become British? What? It's a. 
I, wait, it's in Britain? Yeah, the one with the kids is. Now, it has adults, too. It's both. What about the one in America? No, no kids. Okay, Judah, these two go right here. Oh, so this one's just one big sign, and this one's just the entire one? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. These are going to go here above it. Okay. Those really should have been printed pieces. Wouldn't have looked a lot better printed. Agreed. All right, Judah. Um, we're going to take six of these and we're going to do them on the top parts here. So two on each one. So just go ahead and grab two and put them on over here for me. You mean like this? Yep. Just like we did for the sticker pieces. Without the stickers. It went on a lot harder than it. Than the sticker piece? Yes. Okay. This one is going to get these. That. Purple here. Okay. We're making good time today. There's not a million pieces. Um, Judah, I'm looking for one like this, but instead of having the brick on it, it has a oh, it has a hole. A star hole. Yeah. A plus sign hole. Plus sign hole. That's a good name for it. Because there is one with a regular hole. Yes. That one's going to specifically have some kind of crank or something in it. I would imagine. There's the plus sign holes. There's the brick type of the 2 by one And there's the plus hole 2 by one There's a, re a circle a regular hole two by one and then there's a normal two by one now i i don't know what bag it is i'm guessing it's gonna be the next bag where we build the actual guy with the hat and that is I the i might steal the top hat no that is the piece that a lot of people have had an issue with in this build so we talked about the ice cream parlor outside seating thing and we did have an issue with that if it was forward or backwards Yes. Can you fix it? Um, but that is the one that consistently I have seen people have issues with um, because the arm part doesn't come together until another step. And so it makes it look like it's not together correctly. So it starts it in one step and does a couple of other steps, then finishes it? Yeah. That's weird. Yep. So, like, some people mistaked it and put it back, like... Ooh, we're going like, to put finish, D21 on like, this. Like, finished it, like, upside down or, like, sideways. I, well, I think that people just don't continue on because they're trying to fix it, trying to figure out what they did wrong. Here's the strategy. Go... When you do that step, go to the step that it finishes it and then finish it, and then do the other step so you'll already have it, have it normal. That would be a good plan. It's, it wouldn't bother you, nor would it bother people if they were just smart and used their brains. And just kept on going, right? Yes, and just like skipped a few steps until they get to the finishing part of it, bam. And when they go back, and then they can go to the next step because they already finished it. Yeah. So easy. But you don't always know that. All right, Judah, we're building these little towers of three of these. Can you do one and I'll do one?
Do some people scream and tr and get so triggered that they actually decide to use TNT on it? I don't think so. That I would mean, be a if it was crazy. that if it was that hard, I would definitely buy some at least what what uh, I would at least buy a machine gun and shoot it shoot until it's <laughs> no, you open. Wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. If I could. Well, I have that much rage. Rage quit sometimes. Because it especially comes in when I'm about to beat the level. Like, I'm literally right right next to the end. Like, right there. The, like, me in the end of the level is just, or game is just this much apart. And then I just die and lose all my lives all of a sudden. Mm -hmm. That, that kind of trigger me. That, that triggers that would that that would let's just say I think I've gotten that triggered before. I think it was on Sonic Forces on the Nintendo Switch on the final level where you have to defeat Dr. Eggman and his spy Phantom Ruby Spider uh -huh. doohickey thing. Okay, not entirely sure what to do with that. And then, like, there's, like, a triple boost, and if you don't do the triple boost properly, and you would have to click Y, like, forever. Mm. It's, like, Y, 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 because, like, if you don't get within the inner circle that says the button Y, and you have to keep on clicking Y, then it just does it improperly and does and it doesn't do any damage when he's like this much close to to dead. Mm -hmm. and that, Sounds like a problem. Just, just I've done it down like twenty times and I haven't been able to do it. No. I don't. Lots of purples and oranges. Yeah, what would you expect? The entire building is literally purple and orange. You know, it is. Why would you expect that not to be purple and orange? I don't know. They are almost out in pieces, though. We are, Judah. Okay. This is like the light thing, I think, that they have hanging outside. you guys what it looks like on here once we are finished today 
or if they have us turn it around. They haven't had us turn this the whole build today, which is unusual. I think we already finished most of the inside. That's why. Maybe, yeah, or we're not doing anything to the inside today. Okay. Oh. Ah! Sorry, Lucius. Okay. Are you sorry? We're doing more yes. windows. Can you do one and I'll do one? Why are you sorry? He betrayed the ministry. He was a spy. Uh, he didn't work for the ministry, so he wasn't really a spy. He thought the ministry worked for him. You mean Voldemort? Well, when Voldemort went around. He was a Death Eater. Yeah. But he was also very rich and very powerful. So you just think you could wipe the fact that uh, you're a Death Eater out of existence just because you're rich and powerful? And that's what he thought. Did he get caught? Because I feel like he deserves it. He did end up going to jail. Not something that they included. Yeah, not something that they included in the movies. Except that there was like a scene where Draco was really mad at Harry. And he goes, "This is for my father," um, and that, that's what it's referencing. Lore could also mean the hidden story of what's also going on. Yeah. Right here. Yep. So, I guess he... Wait, how do we know 100% that he actually did go to jail? Uh, it was in the books. It oh, talks okay. about it. Yeah. Yeah. But Voldemort eventually breaks everybody that's in Azkaban out. That's yeah. his follower. Mm -hmm. People who are not his followers and got to jail for like... I think he I breaks mean, them all out. So, that hopefully that they will follow him. Does it work? I don't know. They don't really talk about that. Can magical creatures go to Azkaban? I don't think so. I think they just kill them. Run. Well, what if, if it's like a humanoid? Doesn't matter. They would still just kill them. What if it was a werewolf? Like, like uh... That would be different. What if it was that werewolf guy that was not... Uh, the actual, the actual good guy defense against the art teacher. Do you mean, um, Lupin? <laughs> yes, Lupin. Lupin was like the only good guy that didn't actually try to <coughs> kill Harry or Ron or Hermione. Yeah. Like on purpose. Yeah. He did accidentally try to kill all three of them and Harry. He tried to kill Harry and Hermione twice in one once. Yes. Because they went, Harry and Hermione went back in time and Ron didn't, so therefore Ron was still manipulating. These things do not like me today. Um, it's backwards. So, but then again, he had no control because he was a werewolf. Yep. You are correct. Do you think some people actually like being a werewolf and can, like, use, like, some sort of werewolf powers when they're not in their werewolf form? So the guy that made Lupin a werewolf... Which like, was a follower of Voldemort? Yes, like being a werewolf. And so he tried to stay part werewolf all the time. So I'm confused. Do werewolves eat or just bite people? Both. If you survive the werewolf attack, you become a werewolf but if is you don't, it then a you bite or a scratch though i think a bite so it has to be a bite yeah i think so 
Yeah, because in some like fantasy books, it can be a scratch mm. that also infects the person, not just the bite. Oh my, more stickers. Do you think that he could in like, that werewolves could like infect people? I don't, you mean like muggles? No, I mean like animals. I mean animals. Oh. Like could he like turn into a pigeon into a werewolf and it be like a were pigeon? I don't think so. That would be really unusual. Yeah, to see a werewolf in a pigeon hybrid. Okay, we're doing D22 and D23. How many are there? Uh, there's number 32, 42. There's a lot. Is there a werewolf immunity shot where if you get infected with it or if you... No. You haven't been infected with it? Like... No. Is it... Like, is there like a flu shot for werewolf bites? No. Whoa. My goodness. These windows do not want to stay put. Yeah, you're right. If... If there was one, Loop, Lupin would have been like, all right, you know what, you know what, you know what, I'm, even if it costs all my money, I'm getting that because I don't like being a werewolf. Yeah. Now, what they had done for Lupin is that they had invented a potion where he could kind of keep his sanity while being a werewolf. So he could, like, kind of know who's friends and know who's not? Yes. So he would attack people who he doesn't know, but do not attack people who he does know? Um, I don't know if he would attack people he didn't know. He would just not attack people because he would keep who he was. But in Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, he forgets to take his potion. Why? I, because of everything that's going on with Harry and Sirius. So, the guy who turned Lupin into a werewolf, it, doesn't that mean he's technically, like, Technically, like, full magical creature, technically? Not technically, no. I mean, he tries to keep himself, like, at least part werewolf 100% of the time. You were right, but he also can use a wand. Is allowed to, because magical creatures are not allowed to. Correct. Why do you think that there are not zombies in Harry Potter? There aren't zombies, but there are something similar in that they can reanimate dead bodies. So they're not zombies per se, but they are similar. All right, that is it. We are done with bag 17. That leaves us with 18, 19, and 20. Before we are done, and I'm gonna turn this around here so you guys can see, all right, so here's the side over here with all that stuff that we added, and then here is the front here with all the stuff that we added. This is that thing that we can turn here. One more thing, one more thing. We've got all the windows completed now. Um, Wait, is this the side that he checks yeah. people out of, or this side? Like, that side, yeah. This side? Yep. Yeah. And we got Fred and or George. Here, next time we'll put together Fred, Fred and or George. So, Fred, Fred loses an ear. Or Fred his... loses his life, George loses an ear. Okay, so there is 
what we have added today with bag 17. Next time we will do bag 18. Thanks for joining us and until then, happy building, happy building everyone.